Hey you guys, it's me, Kiana. Yeah, we're supposed to be doing Vita, which is Vlog every day, April. But today, I come at you all natural. Okay? Uh, no makeup, no wigs, no fake hair. All natural. And. I come at you guys because <sighs> this is hard for me to explain you guys. It seems like every year around this time, around my birthday, May, it seems like I go through the same feeling. If you remember last year, around this time I left for seven months we traveled we meaning daddy and I um, we traveled and enjoyed life and during that time I gained so much wisdom because I seek so much knowledge and I seek so much truth I learned so much within myself and taking a sabbatical away from everything as much as possible and just focusing on things that really to the core matter to me is necessary for me to go through that process. Um, I thank God that I'm in a position and our household is in a position that we can do that and <sighs> this is difficult you guys okay you guys know that I did a video not too long ago a couple weeks ago um, sharing with you guys that I was going to be leaving for a little while leaving YouTube for a minute and I know people think that you know I set it for ratings and all of that and to be honest with you um, I'm going to get ratings regardless so I hope that doesn't offend anybody and if it does get your channel up get your channel game up um, anyway <laughs> Um, I didn't say it for ratings, you guys. I, I really, truly felt compelled to leave, and I could feel it, feel it like rising up inside of me. Um, hundreds of you, if you go back to that video, hundreds of you, um, <laughs> asked me not to leave, and um, so many sent me personal emails and, you know, they were saying that, you know, I'm refreshing and they like my style of my channel and what I share, um, speaks to them. Um, what I share is actually a substance, um, and they just enjoy me as much as I enjoy you guys. You guys have to understand, and many of you have been with me for a long time and have seen, you know, so much and seen me go through so much and seen me transform. I mean, you guys have seen me from transform from someone that, you know, was affected by just, you know, someone just verbally attacking me or feeling like I was verbally attacked and crying over it and these are people that I don't even know and I had to come to that that place where I had to realize I don't even know you you know and I'm I'm giving you that much energy I'm giving you that much of myself and I had to learn um you guys have seen me go from a 500 pound woman to where I'm at now um damn sure not 500 pounds um so and and trust me, over one four hundred fifty pounds is gone. Um, even with my weight, some of my weight gain, um, I'm still 
more than 150 pounds down. But, um, and still going. Um, it's just, you guys have been with me through so much. You guys, every Christmas, uh, Pootie is six years old. Um, y'all have seen the last five Christmases of his, of, of his life. You guys have seen the last five Thanksgivings of our life. You guys have seen us go from where we lived before to where we live now. And you guys have seen all in between. You've, you've seen uh, Daddy and I relationship grow from only being married for less than a year when I first started YouTube to now where we're at. Um, you guys have seen from, you know, hearing our story of, you know, only dating for 30 days, got married, and here we are today. Many, many, many times we thought that it was going to fall apart and and trust me I did too um, but you guys have seen it all you guys have experienced it all every prom that it has went to you guys have been there um, so I owe it to you guys to try to explain even though it's complicated for me to do such um, not only is it complicated, it's usually twisted and not received the way that it's intended to be sent. Um, but all I can do is focus on getting the message out and to try to ex explain where I'm at. So, alright, so, um, you guys know my birthday is May the 2nd. Um, my wedding anniversary is May the 4th. And you guys know Mother's Day is after all of that. So, it may y'all know I clean up. But, um, I, I, I find myself that I, I, I do traveling more around that time. I thank God that I'm, I have, I'm blessed with my ex-mother-in-law who literally comes and takes over the house when daddy and I travel. Um, she li leaves her home and literally come here. Um, and that's my ex-mother-in-law. So I am truly loved and truly blessed. Um, because traveling for me, you guys, it does something to me as far as in my process of growth. It, I can't really explain it, but I know that when I see the world, when I go in places that I've only seen in books, when I travel to places that I never thought that I would be able to do, never thought I'd be able to afford, never thought I'd be able to experience, when I do that, it enlightens me even more to a higher level. I don't know how to explain it besides that. Some of you may get it because maybe you're similar. Some of you may not because maybe that's not your passion. But my passion is to travel. Um, I discovered that here on YouTube. Uh, you guys seen that. When I was 500 pounds, I was snorkeling in Bermuda and in Bahamas and in Jamaica. You know, so... And that was at 500 pounds. So, you guys know that, uh, smaller than that, you guys know, sometimes I'd be on a roll. So, last year we did, around this time, I do recall that we did, we went to Bermuda again. And that's when I went on my sabbatical when I left for seven months YouTube. Yes. In case you guys don't know, and for the people that think that when I say I'm going to leave YouTube, and then I don't, or you guys think that I'm just you know, saying it for ratings, I left for seven months before, just so you know. <laughs> um, sometimes I feel pulled one direction, and even though I know I'm supposed to go in this direction, when you're being pulled in this direction, and you love the people that's pulling you, sometimes you'll go in that direction even though you know that's not where you're supposed to be so when I did the video a couple of weeks ago about me 
possibly leaving YouTube, I felt it coming up inside of me. I knew it was coming because I know that feeling because I've done it before. Um, and boy, do I learn so much and I experience so much when I listen to that voice and go in the direction that I'm supposed to go in. So, this time I can't allow myself to be pulled. I did that a couple of weeks ago, and what I do is I av basically am avoiding the inevitable. So, I can't be pulled this time. I need to go in this path. Because... I always come back a better me and when I come back a better me I can give you guys more of me and I can give you guys more of what I've learned more of what I've seen more of what I've experienced so in the long run it benefits us all so daddy and I were talking and we said well we're just gonna you know first we're gonna since you feel like that, he already knows the routine. So we already had, because we've done this before, we had things already lined up on how we shut this down. You know, I don't even look at emails. So if you guys send messages, whether it's YouTube or emails, and I don't answer, please understand, and that's why this video is here. Please understand that I literally seal myself off of all of that. I seal myself off of a couple, of, a couple of other things as well, but it doesn't pertain to YouTube or you guys. Um, I remember one time I had felt like this, and I, I literally purged myself of meat. Um, it wasn't because I was trying to be a lifelong vegetarian, but it's just certain things that I know that I need to fast myself off of. Not necessarily for a long period of time. See, I'm coming to you guys today, and... I don't know when I'm going to return. It may be a week from now. It may be a month from now. It may be five months from now. I really, truly don't know. But I do know that I will come back when I am compelled to do so. Or I will come back as often as I'm compelled to do so. Um, and again, when I come back, I'll come back better than I am now. Because I never follow the right path and come back the same way. I always come back with a new healing, a new new voyage, a new connection, a new level of knowledge, uh, a higher level of wisdom. I always come back as, as that. So I don't know when I'm going to return. I don't want you guys to worry because you guys know of my health issues now. I am fine. Trust me, I'm fine. Um, but... I I am compelled to leave for a little while. I don't know when I will return, but I will return. Okay, I can promise you that. Um, and I may even give you a video, you know, of just it may not even be any words. It may be just some of our travels, or we just get in the car and just go and just keep riding um, I don't know we haven't thought about it um, daddy did throw out there that we should go to a cabin in the Poconos for you know about a week or whatever I don't know and again I will if compelled to I will upload the video every now and then um, again it may not be me verbally speaking to you but it may be just me giving you a glimpse of how I'm enjoying life or that I'm okay okay so can we make that pack right. so um I don't know how long it's gonna last but we're gonna pick up and go again and um we're looking into now on the internet of you know great prices for places and stuff like that um, I'm pretty experienced with traveling now so I know where to go and what's 
you know where where to check out and I don't deal with my old travel agent anymore yeah I, she needed to retire because I, I, I got this <laughs> so um so I just wanted to give you guys this video <laughs> let you guys know that I am fine I will be fine I'm sorry that I was not able to give you guys the rest of the April videos which was coming at you with a new wig a new look every single day um this actually is how I like to really be um without the dramatics you know and I'm an artist so that is my way showing you guys the makeup and the wigs and that is my way of showing my artistic flair and my creativity and then I throw in a little you know the sassy Kiana um, just for fun but this is the Kiana that I feel most comfortable being and this is what she looks like so um, I remember when I went natural um, and that was about a year ago around this time of the year see as I'm talking you guys as I'm talking it's things that's being revealed to me that I didn't even think of so around this time of the year is when I went natural um, and when I went natural believe it or not it's a lot of things that's connected when you walk on a certain path you the right path that you're supposed to be on is certain things that is connected with that you think it's just walking on the path but it's little you know little sidewalks along the way that you could take a little bit from this sidewalk and you could take a little bit from that sidewalk and see so you holding all of this in your package you know in your bag you know you take a little of that and you put that in the bag and you take a little of this and you put that in the bag all while you're traveling down the path so on my road to deciding to even though I have a hundred maybe a little bit more I'm not gonna lie about a hundred wigs <laughs> literally even though I have a hundred wigs and endless supply of makeup because you guys know I am the official one of the official Milani girls um, so endless supply of makeup and then I purchase makeup as well so I have an endless supply of makeup it's makeup all around me I'm an artist so it's makeup and hair and this and stenches and all of this is always around me so for me to have went natural being that I had a relaxer probably before anybody in my elementary school being that I didn't even know my real texture of my hair my own mother didn't even remember the texture of my hair when she saw the real texture of my hair she was like wow I didn't know it was like that I thought it was extremely kinky she didn't even recall that's how early I got a re relaxer so for me to have went natural I must have felt something that compelled me to do so um, I was totally the mm, I'm not gonna be walking around like that kind of chick in reference to being natural so when I went natural and I actually felt compelled to do it and I followed through with it along the way I grabbed a lot of things a lot of wisdom, a lot of enlightenment, a lot of, a lot of knowledge to put in my bag along the way. And um, it's silly to some maybe, because you may don't get it, but it's something that comes with obedience that changes you, that makes it so that you can't never come back the same makes it so that you almost don't recognize that person before and when I went natural and then I also started traveling and we just we just we just left and and then we would come back for like two weeks and then we would 
leave again for like four days and then we would come back for like two weeks and then we would leave for two weeks and then we would come back for like a week and then we would leave for ten days it and then we just sat still after like three <laughs> so it wasn't that we was just running from the kids or anything but again traveling just does something to me and daddy just he'd be ready to roll um i don't know if it affects him the same way i don't think so because everything don't affect everybody the same way but for me that's what it does and as usual daddy is a rider so you know that's what we do we ride for each other so um when i look at daddy and say i think it's that time daddy he said, okay, how much we got to kick out? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so like I said, I, 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 I will, um, try to come back and give you guys nonverbal videos. It may be just a video of what we're doing. It may it may be low quality but the point is that I'm sharing you know something that we've done or something that was important to me or just showing that we're okay um, I'll try to make the quality as as best as possible um, I will be pulling out my big boy cameras yes I know a lot of people you're you're applauding for that um, I'm just not that girl that has to have all the you know, I, I don't I don't feel it's necessary for me to have a film set. That's just not my style. Now, I'm not knocking anybody else. That's just not my style. I allow people to have theirs. Allow me to have mine. But um, I do pull out the big boy cameras when I travel because I like to be able to zoom in all the way from across the the ocean and all that kind of stuff. You guys know I'll be all the way on the crew, top of the cruise ship, all the way across, you know, the um, in the port, and I'll be zooming in on people's porches all the way across. And you guys have seen those videos. If you haven't, go check them out. Of course, they will reflect um, the vacation or whatever in the title. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to see the really great high quality um videos with my big boy cameras but um so i'll um try to do that you guys um but whatever i do i'm only going to do what i feel compelled to do um because i don't want to i don't want to mess up the flow um i'm just going to let it flow and uh so, I love you guys. Um, again, I don't know. I may be gone a month. I don't know. I truly, truly, truly don't know you guys. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. But just know that I'm okay. And just know that I will return. And just know that even if I don't answer your email, your comments, um, I will... Um, I will return and I'm, I'll be okay. Um, Nene has the password and everything to the computer, so she will approve messages from time to time every certain amount of days um, in between things that she has to do, classes and helping with Pooty and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. So, okay, you guys. So, wish us luck and safe travels and and um know that you guys will be missed and I will see you guys when I see you guys alright you guys I love you so much I was just looking at something I'll share this with you guys you guys remember you guys remember this girl Have you seen her? 
Tell me, have you seen her? <laughs> have you seen her, you guys? <laughs> Alright, you guys. Time for me to say farewell. And, um, thank you for letting me share. And always finding value in that of which I do. Talk to you guys soon.